Hello brothers and sisters of Christ. I decided to do just a quick video, an update video on my Bible collection. And I decided to title this video, Best $25 I Ever Spent in My Life. But it's just Best $25 I Ever Spent. It's probably why I'm going to name the video. Because I usually do the videos and then do the titles. But um, I did some traveling in the last couple weeks. I did, did one traveling up to what I, I talked about in my videos. I go up to Gold Beach sometimes. And there's a used bookstore there. It used to be as huge. It's now half the size it once was. Um, and now they're getting into art. You know, um, statues and paintings and stuff like that. Um, but they still have a used bookstore section. So I got to make a trip up there and do some gospel tracting in Gold Beach. And I like to stop by the, the used bookstore. And I found a great book there. And we're going to talk about it last. I also made a trip recently down to Crescent City. I like to do some gospel tracting down there. Because I do gospel tracting in Burkings all the time. But sometimes, Brothers Just Christ, it helps to get away a little bit. Jumping, I know it's expensive, gas is expensive today and everything, but sometimes if God blesses you with being able to afford it, jump in the truck and go to a city right next door, and that's what I do, and do some gospel tracting there. Um, see if you can find some used bookstores there and see what God will show you and stuff like that. So hopefully Victoria will sit down and not make a lot of noise. Wood floors, I, I love this house's wood floors. You, just, you sweep most of the time, and then you... Um, do one of those wet duster things, <laughs> things, <laughs> shows you my work vocabulary, um, and you just dust the floor and everything, but she looks like she's setting it. Okay, back to what we were talking about. I like making those trips, and in those trips, I'm excited because God gave me some amazing things. I like my Bible collection. I have, and I'll probably take a picture and show it up right here, but I've got an old-fashioned cabinet that's like a desk writer's uh, desk, secretary desk, and I got that desk from my grandmother, grandfather and grandmother. My grandfather's passed away, my grandmother's um, still alive, and I put all my good books in there, all my Bible collection and everything. Over here on my left, I have all my books that I have for learning, uh, learning about the Bible, Bible version issues and everything. I've got Peter Ruckman's Expository Studies. I've got some other books up there, uh, Luther's Works. I was trying to learn something. Saints of the Wilderness. I'm reading some. Um, Fox's Book of Martyrs. Uh, just all kinds of books over there. Babylon Religion. You know, The Two Babylons by Alexander Hill. I have my Bible books for studying here, but I like that old case because I put my Bibles in there. And I don't know if God will ever bless me. I, I believe that I've gotten into ministry kind of in these last days, and I don't know if I'll ever be blessed with being part of the house church, even if it's just setting up the chairs. I don't have to be a preacher. Just setting up the chairs. If God called someone else to preach, and I get to be part of a house church, praise the Lord. Um, I'm not prideful. I don't have to be the preacher and the final authority. Or, uh, I don't want to get into that. But if you ever did call me to be able to do a house church, or for just out of the blue, let's say five or six brethren show up, and they want to talk, and all of a sudden it gets to the point where, hey, let's do a Bible study. Oh, I forgot my Bibles. I can point to that cabinet and... There's King James Bibles galore in that cabinet. I love collecting Bibles. I've also given them out. I've only given out two Bibles because people just don't want them. I'm getting them from the stores because nobody wants them. I always try to leave a, key, a few King James Bibles in these bookstores in case somebody that's poor comes looking for one, they can find one. Um, but when I'm traveling, I always keep a used King James Bible in the truck. And I've given them out twice. Twice. One person took it and promised he'd read it. I, I kind of pray and hope he did. And I want to believe he did. One took it along with uh, some money for food. And I think he just chucked it. And went, next thing I knew, I see him walking around with a bottle in a, in a paper bag. And usually that means liquor. They put liquor in a paper bag. And I just felt bad that he didn't. I had to give him a gospel track as a, bo a bookmark. I really preached to him the truth about Jesus Christ. And here's his word. And he was all excited. Yeah, I want his word. So I don't know. I didn't actually see him throw it away. But when I saw him walking next, all he had was liquor, alcohol in his hand. And there was no King James Bible in his hand. So um, he might have put it with his stuff. I hope. Uh, maybe he gave it to somebody else. And it just got passed down until it comes into the hands of someone who really wants it. And will appreciate it and hide it in their heart. You know, get saved and hide it in their heart. So I always try to give away Bibles to people who want the King James Bible. 
but back to this. I, I put these here because we're not going to go over all of them in depth, just the two that I bought. But I put these here to show the size. So we're going to get a close-up eventually, and then I'm going to try to see if I can set up the camera here, because I don't have an overhead camera, where we can sit here and I can go through and show you the two Bibles that, that God gave me. But this is like a pocket size. This is this, And it's not the whole Bible. It's just the New Testament, Proverbs, and Psalms. Psalms and Proverbs. But this is pocket size. This was the average size of people that had them on them, especially like when you were looking at Sheffy, the movie Sheffy. I don't know if you've ever seen it. If you haven't, it's a great movie to go watch. About a man that's a circuit rider, and he goes around preaching the Word of God. His Bible is usually about this size, even probably a little bit smaller than this. But their Bibles were small because they had to be able to carry it on them, along with all the, everything else they needed on the horses and stuff like that. Okay? But I got these kind of set up. Okay. And this book in the middle was my biggest book, and it's giant print, because I wanted a giant print in case my eyes, because my eyes are going downhill, in case my eyes get worse, okay, get worse. And then I found this book, the biggest Bible that I own. Um, and I want to, I have to create, quote scripture, because we're talking about the Bible, i got to quote scripture, but thy word, the Bible says in Psalms 105, it says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. And, Pete, and I got a study here that I'm putting together. And people say, well, Jesus is so more important. Well, Jesus in John 8, 12 says, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. His word is a light to the world. Okay. Uh, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that you may prove. What is that, good? And I'm saying, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, Am I getting the right one? I'm trying to think of the one about these. Okay, these things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. We're only able to believe on the name of the Son of God because there's a perfect written record. Now, I don't want to get this into a big Bible study, but God's Word is our foundation in all matters of faith and practice, brothers and Christ. How high? These, they're put in that cabinet. Like I said, I'll do a picture. And it's a case so it doesn't get dusty. But... For the most part, my Bibles, I have two of them. I've got this big one here that I, if you've seen me preach from here, and I've ripped it a couple of times because I try to turn fast, because I'm a slow turner, and I try to turn fast, and sometimes I end up ripping the pages because in these Bibles, the bigger the print, the, the lighter weight paper they have to put in there so the Bible's not that heavy. Personally, I'd rather the Bible be heavy <laughs> and have paper that's really strong and durable for my uh, highlighting and everything different colors and everything. Um, but this was the biggest book, and this is the one you, have, you see me sitting here with and preaching from sometimes. And then my other book's in the other room that I preach from that's smaller than this. So, what we're going to do now is try to put these together so you can kind of see this is the biggest book. And Brothers Jesus Christ, I'm not kicking anybody who did this, so please don't take this as a kick. This is just something that the Lord, I'm excited because a brother in Christ... Someone uh, donated to his ministry a huge Bible that's an, a, a replica of the six, original 1611, and it's in the Gothic font, and it's got all the pictures, and, and, and it's like, at first when I saw that, I was like, this, and it's huge, it's huge, it's like, this is so cool, I want this, this is so cool. Then I looked online, and I saw the price, and I was like, when I first saw the price, it was like 900 and something dollars, almost $1,000 when I first looked into it. And I think the price has dropped down to $600, 600 and something dollars for that book. And I was like, I, I, I love God's Word, but I don't need that book. And then God started putting on my heart, it's like, well, think about this. This book right here, when it was $1,000, I could get tens of, ten of these. When it was six hundred and something dollars, I could get six of these and hand them out to brethren. And uh, at the time, I didn't have this, so I went and bought this <laughs> because it's the Roman font. It's, it's large lettering. You can read it. You can see it. You can read it. So this is what I got. And I looked at that, and then God started saying, "You know what? Look at the font. It's hard to read. You really don't need it." So. Uh, if for some reason if I came across one of those books in the used bookstore and they wanted a hundred bucks for it, I'd probably pay a hundred bucks for it if I had the money. 
Um, but the thought of spending six hundred, you know, a thousand dollars. I like I said when I first saw it, brother, and I know you do too, brother. Jesus Christ, you see it, you think it's so cool, it's so great. It's like, uh, but God, through time, being patient. One of the things I need prayer for, being patient. God gave me a book that's that. That's I I know the other book there that we're talking about that goes back to the original 1611 authorized version, how it was when it first came out and everything. It's a little bit bigger than this book that I got down here. Okay. But God provides, and you know, God's amazing when he does that. So we are going to go ahead and stop the video here in a few seconds, and we're going to pull you up close, and we're going to go through these and look closer at them. So let's go ahead and let's look a little bit closer at these Bibles that God showed me so I can share them with you that I'm adding to my collection. Okay, Brother Sis Christ, I have this one right here just to show the size. I want to put this here size. These are little pocket Bibles because I want to show the size and I'm excited. And remember, this is as equally God's Word as this big guy down here. Let's see if I can get this as big as this guy down here. This is just as equally God's Word. Okay, Brother Sis Christ. But I want to put it here to kind of show the size. And then you had the pocket size. Then you had the next size. This used to be the average size, you know, and the font, look how small, <laughs> to me it's small. I can, I can still read this praise the Lord with my glasses on and everything. If I had to, I could read this, okay, but, and then this, really small print, but I could still read this too. If I had to hide this on me, because they took all this away, and God blessed me with this, and I had this on me. I'd miss the Old Testament. I love listening to the Old Testament. But I found this book up into, this book up in, um, or down, okay, down in Crescent City. It was a used book. Okay, Holy Bible, King James Version. It's giant print, personal size, words of Christ in red, reference, and concordance. It's got a little bit of everything. But this is still, even though it says giant print, is not the same print as this one right here. Okay. But you open this up. Songs of Solomon. Okay. They even do some outlines and whatnot. There's your concordance if you want to look up some words. It's got small concordance in it. Okay. So this was a Bible that I found. Okay. Um, Oftentimes, real quick, if it says Zondervan on it, you really got to verify that they didn't mess with the King James Bible. And you got to go through and look at a lot of verses, like key scriptures and everything, and you got to check it out. Okay, I always suggest this. But I was blessed with this Bible, okay, and I found it to add to my collection. But as you can see, it's still smaller than this one, even though it says giant print. Because uh, I, I remember getting giant print from the local church Bible publishers. And you look at the print of this, and it is bigger than those smaller ones. I mean, there is, there is a difference, brother. This is Christ. There is a difference, big time, absolutely. But this is supposed to be giant print, and I think it's large print. It's not giant. It's large print. Okay. The Lord blessed me with that Bible that I get to add to my collection. This one, you guys know, because I've shown it before. But this is giant print. And with giant print, they couldn't put concordance in it. It's just the Word of God. That's all that's in here is the Word of God. And it's huge print. Just very huge print. And when you get to Revelation, that's it. It's just paper. Okay. It's very big. This is nice leather because it's actual leather, it's callous leather. And um, so this is large print. This was my largest Bible that I had until the Lord got me the main Bible that I wanted to show you guys, really show you. There's some interesting, interesting things about this Bible that, that I really like, that I really like. Okay. First and foremost, when you get the Bible, it's black. Okay, it's a, de it's a, it's a book about death, okay? It's also a book about life, but you get to hear, let's see if we can get it in the screen. 
Let's do it sideways like this then. You've got the seven seals, the ring that goes around here. One, two, three, four, five. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't, kind of miscounted that, but there's actually two here, but you got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's missing one. <laughs> Usually it's supposed to be seven seals. You got the one at the bottom that goes all around. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and the one on the top that goes all the way around, seven. It's usually a seven seal book. This one, okay, if you want to, because there's two lines here, if you want to count that as two, but it still kind of got that stuff, but it should be seven. <laughs> it's an old book, okay? But one of the things I liked about it is this. When you look dead on, it's gold. You see the gold here? It's gold. But if you, turn, if you start opening it up and looking at it sideways, it's red. I don't know how they did that, but I don't see that with the Bibles today, but they do gold here. On this one, if you look, it's gold. And that's it. But on this one, it's, you can even see some of the red there. But when you look at it at a certain angle, it's gold. When you look at it at a different angle, it's all um, it's red. Red as can, red as can be especially when you open it up. But when you open it up, this is gigantic print. Brother Jesus Christ, gigantic print. And like I said, I'm not worse. It's just, just a great addition. If I lose this book, I lose this book. I still have God's word in my heart and I'm doing my best to live it. And God's given me tons of Bibles, but this is a blessing to my Bible collection, Jeremiah. These are one of those huge Bibles that would stay on the, I know that uh, the pulpit's not in the Bible, the word pulpit is in the Bible, but it'd stay up there. And everybody would preach from it. Okay, Acts. And I went through and I checked some of the verses and everything. It is a King James Bible. Let's see if we can get it open. And it only costs 25 bucks. If you're really looking, God will help you get the Word of God. And remember this ministry, okay, authorized King James Version. That doesn't mean it's authorized with King James Version. You still got to verify it through the scriptures and check the different scriptures out. But it says authorized King James Version, okay. I tried to get a date on when this was put out, but there really wasn't much of a date because it would put, it'd be right here. But there wasn't much of a date that I could find. There's no copyright. That's another thing too, Brother Jesus Christ. There's no copyright stamp. It says the, Winmis the Westminster Bookstore, Philadelphia, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco. But there's no copyright on here. A lot of these, when you open up to here, you'll see a copyright. You'll see a copyright down here. There's no copyright on this. King James Bible. Okay. Manufactured in the United States of America. Saying it was made, in, that it was printed in America. But there's no copyright. And here you have to the most high, most high, let's see, to the most high and mighty Prince James, by the grace of God, goes through and talks about Prince James and then how the dedication and how the translators, we are poor translators to, to, pre, uh, to translate the word of God. We're so blessed and everything. Um, has key pronunciations on how to pronunciate words in the Bible. The old and the new Testament books arranged alphabetically. So they just do it alphabetically. Okay, when they do the um, the, t uh, the titles. Sorry, the titles. They just arrange it alphabetically. So you're looking for a book, then you can find it quicker by just doing alphabetically. Everything is. It's not, it's, it doesn't do like some books where it says Genesis on through and then it tells you the It's all alphabetical. And the foot. The first book of Moses, called Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. But like I said, when you're going to turn, if you look now, see how this all looks over here? All of this looks red. When, like I said, when you look at it, when it's laying flat, like you're opening it up, it's all pinkish red. It's a bloody book talks about, you know, the blood that was shed. Old Testament, they had to sacrifice animals. 
New Testament, Jesus shed his blood for us. When it's up like this, brothers and Christ, it's gold. But down here, red. Up here, gold. I find that very interesting and very neat about this. But the print in here is huge. When I look at the print, it's just, it's actually the same size. It's the same size as this book right here. It really is. So if my eyes get really bad, I can always just turn to this to start reading this book. But I wanted to share, I like sharing with you, Brothers Jesus Christ, that you know, keep your eyes open for good King James Bibles out there. You don't always have to spend a hundred bucks, which like I did here, this was like 80, 80 bucks on this, because it's leather and it's gonna last a long time. But these books here can last a long time too if you take care of it. Read it every day, but you take care of it. But this, sometimes God will open the door and show you some, some books that are cheap. I got this at a used bookstore. I got this at a used bookstore. I got this one at a used bookstore. Okay? These are all God's Word. These can all be used. Right? But I found this pretty interesting and wanted to just do a quick video sharing that the best $25 I ever spent. This Bible is a great Bible. Gold. Uh, all gold was on the tabernacle of God. You want, you want to know where our worth is? Our real, the most worth thing, uh, most thing that's the most worth in your life is going to be? The Word of God. The Word of God. All right. So, oops, someone wrote it in a little bit. So I wanted to share that with you, brothers and sisters in Christ. So I hope you find that interesting. My th most interesting thing was, like I said, the gold that turns red, and then it's gold, and then it's red. Uh, the size of the book, um, the fact, like I said, the interesting fact is, is it has no copyright because there's no concordance, there's no maps, there's none of that. It's just, this is the Word of God. Here's the dedicatory that the translators put in for King James, and that, you know, that we're poor instruments to translate God's Word. You know, in other words, they were humble, they weren't proud, and there's no copyright. So I found this pretty interesting. This was a great find and a new addition to my collection. So yeah, Brother and Sister Christ, keep your eyes open. You never know what you're going to find at a used bookstore, okay? Secondhand store, you never know. Sometimes I still look at uh, Goodwill and some of these secondhand stores. They have a little section of buy, uh, books, used books, and you might come across one. Okay? But it's very interesting. So thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you for watching, and I'm just sharing this with you. So I'm going to end this with grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, and my love for you, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching.